Twilight Tone was born out of my obsession with the show, The Twilight Zone. Back in the days, they had names like Africa Bambata, Mantronics, Grandmaster Flash, and so I was like, man, I need a cool name. And it just felt right, The Twilight Tone. It's the tone of The Twilight Zone. They say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, they call me the man. Plus I'm macho, from New York to LA and Chicago, moment by moment, that's my motto. I'm bad baby dog, right to the bone, as you listen to the words of the twilight tone. You go on and on, straight through the mall, and we don't stop till we see unicorns, come on. What I liked about the twilight zone was the fine line between what is dreamlike or abstract and what is concrete. And I noticed the Twilight Zone when I would watch TV at late at night and fall asleep and my dreams would intersect with what I was watching on TV. I don't know if you ever had that happen to you, but that's the Twilight Zone. That's my motto. I'm bad baby dog right to the bone. As you listen to the words of the Twilight Tone, you go on and on straight through the morning. In Chicago, we were making music based on the music we were hearing in the clubs or on the radio. <laughs> in Chicago, as a whole it was set apart from America. Whereas other people were listening to maybe LL Cool J, I'm Bad, we were listening to uh, Yellow, Bostage. Like this was normal. Like this wasn't like, oh, it's, this is eclectic. Or, uh, no, like I'm talking about inner city, ghetto black kids are listening to Yellow, Bostage. It was a really hodgepodge of sound and visual. A great weekend, yes we can, can. a great weekend. This particular track is called Great Weekender Number One, and that's me. For me, slick talking is a chic approach to rapping. Nowadays, if you listen to rap, it's very simple, which you can kind of give the guys kudos because keep it simple, stupid, so that everyone can digest it and enjoy it. But it does not fit my aesthetic and what I'm into. But slick talking totally embodies what I'm about. Let me tell you about a time when I had a fight with Mr. T and Hulk Hogan at night. This is represents me. I'm coming out of my shell. My twilight sound. Superman came in to give me flat till I hit him in the head with a kryptonite bat. And I'm just being vulnerable and saying, hey, this is what it is. And it, it feels great. So when I'm laughing, like when I go, ha, 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 it, it's not a put on. I'm literally like, it's like, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. <laughs> Superman came in again. <laughs> and it's fun. And I think people are going to enjoy it. And they're going to feel the, how authentic it is. Come on. <laughs> Come on, lady love. Yeah, you know me. Master ceremonies in the place to be. You pass the smoke, you take the tote. The next thing you know, you start doing. Pop, pop, fizz, that's what it is. Wipe away your tears and forget your fears. You do the bump, you turn around. I didn't have a guide, so I had to figure things out myself. Let's go to work. I got the kind of thing to make it go berserk. Think you fell asleep because you're. I kind of remember when Michael Jordan wasn't like a great player, he was just good. And then one day, he just came back, and it was just like. Well, who the hell is this guy? And I, that was kind of like my life. Like, I, I was like, you know what, man? I don't want to be invisible. I believe dreams are a portal and yeah, a window to what can be possible. My creativity comes from dreams and reality. Thus the twilight tone. Yes, we can.